What exactly is the Elite Scholars Program? That's a good question. ESP is a lot like a separate school within a school at River City Science Academy. Ultimately, it's a program designed for our most motivated, top performing students. Many of these students are among the highest performing students in Duval County. At the end of the day, our common goal is to motivate and challenge these students, implementing best practices with fidelity and encouraging them to reach higher than they could. The ESP program uh, came out of a desire to want to support our highest achieving students. Um, a lot of times these students will have potential that goes either untapped or they lose motivation because they become bored, as many of our gifted students do. I think the ESP program is unique because it gives students the opportunity to engage in hand-on learning opportunities that maybe they would not be able to do in a traditional classroom, or maybe not as many in a traditional classroom. When I've done honors programs in other schools, um, or even this school, honors was just add a few more assignments, add another criteria to an assignment for um, the individual or group or team, um, and that, and have maybe a little bit more detailed conversations with the kids that you would have already had with the other group of kids um, in that grade. But ESP is not an honors program. ESP is about taking um, these students who would never be introduced to these, these concepts at this young age and pushing them to not maybe even the next grade up, but the, like up to two grades up um, and seeing what they are capable of um, because a lot of them have these skills or they're very close to having the skills but nobody would ever push them in a normal class or even an honors class because you, would, you don't have the time to explore that. I like it because it's like a small group and it's like a one big family traveling together. The amount of work they give you is a lot, so you have to get used to it. It's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. Um, it is very challenging. There is definitely um, a decent workload of homework, um, but we as the ESP teachers have made sure that we meet every month to talk about that balance of homework because we do understand that they need to have lives with their families, um, they need to have social lives with their friends, but they also need to rise to these standards that we know that they are capable of. For our gifted students, it's answering questions that are concerns to them. They're able to get outside of a textbook and explore in real world situations the, the questions and concepts that we're, we're talking about where there's less teacher focused and centered learning, where it's about the students and they're held accountable for their learning in ways that other classes aren't uh, based on. Classroom environment in my ESP class is very uh, close knit, I guess, because in eighth grade, um, they have all of or almost all of their classes together. So they're learning together, they're working together, they're playing together, and they become like a little family. At least that's how it feels in my classroom. The, the average eighth grader is not taking my course where I'm forcing them to think about the credibility of sources and whether they should be believed, or um, they're not being forced um, in their normal curriculum to look at the argument of a source and evaluate its effectiveness. Um, so they're getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one teacher interaction, they're getting peer, peer interaction, uh, to become better writers and better thinkers and then on top of that we're, we're having whole class interaction on a very frequent basis. So it's not just academics, we're looking at an experience for the whole student and for what they can do outside of a classroom. There is nowhere else in Jacksonville where a student can get an experience like that.